So whenever we are performing some rehiring process, generally what we do, we'll go to person management and search for person record, and then we'll go to create work relationship. And we are trying to create a relationship between the worker and legal employer. And uh, if you choose the same date or early, like uh, date, then it will choose the error message. Let's say if I select rehire an employee, what system is showing error message, you need to enter a start date of the new work relationship. That's after the termination date of the selected. So whatever the termination date is there, okay, whatever the termination date is there, next day we have to take it. Okay. Uh, because employee works with that particular legal employer till that date. At a time, employee cannot work with multiple legal employers. Right. That's why make sure that one day gap is required. So that selected previous work relationship. Maybe your enterprise, means your client is having three companies, A, B, C. Employee was working in A and end of this month is going to be relieved from their termination. Next month, you can hire rehire either for A company or you can rehire for B company also. Not a problem. But information will be maintained in the same enterprise, right? So that's the reason the system is telling us that cross-check the termination date of your employee on your previous relationship. So we mentioned that uh, it's October 14th, right? October 14th is the last date. Uh, 14th also not allowed. Here it is. If I select the rehire an employee, again same. Because 14th is the last date in that company, then 15th is okay. 15th is okay. Not a problem. You can rehire. It won't show any error message. But we want to rehire this for March 1st, 2024. Okay, that's that's the record. Okay, choose legal employer. And of course, all the assignment information will be copied from previous record and we'll be able to get. If there are any changes are required, of course, we can do. Uh, the process will be similar. Identification, personal information, employment information, compensate and other information, nothing but salary details. Of course, you can hire for the same company or you can hire for another company also. I'm just going ahead with the same company. Earlier, he was a um, developer. Now, I'm going to make him as a manager. And let's go for submit. This is how about uh, rehiring process. Once we rehire an employee, uh, we can find here. Let's let's see that in person management. Click history button. Still, it's not updated actually. Rehiring. It may take a couple of minutes' time. Uh, we need to cross check either from notification. Termination is approved. That's fine. But uh, rehiring may take some time. Another option where we can verify. We can do it from transaction console. Let's go to tools menu, transaction console. Uh, remove the failed statuses records. Right now, I want to see all. We got some other checklist related tasks. Yeah, 
gets approved rehiring an employee from march 1st 2024 that's been done let's go back to person management here and search for employee record here go to view history uh, this information we hiring and registration a resignation but if we search on the record on which date March 1st. Search for employee here and check this effective as of date March 2024 first. If there are any terminated records, I would like to view that terminated work relationships also. So we can see that uh, he is going to work for sales department. Act two, this person number will never change. As soon as the employee is working for the enterprise, even if you do the transfer, global transfer, termination, again rehiring, okay? So it will not be changed. Person number remains same. Now we can see that he's working again for the same company from 1st March 2024. I can see the assignment information here. Right, and see the history. Rehiring has done here, okay. And we would like to see the seniority of this employee. Seniority dates are very important. Yeah. So seniority dates so will be used to calculate the employee length of service, legal entity wise means company wise, and also calculate for entire enterprise. Calculate for entire enterprise. Now recalculate seniority. Oh, for this, what happened? System has submitted some process, nothing but an internal program. It's going to be executed in the background and we'll get the result here itself. Now, total seniority date, so far it is uh, just zero years, zero months, one day. Because just he is joined in this company, today only, right? That's what seniority dates uh, calculations for. Okay, location wise, we can verify the seniority date. Enterprise wise, uh, seniority date, we can verify. Okay, so enterprise wise also same because he has entered into this comp enterprise only today, only, right? Maybe after some time, if we search, if we have done some transfers and all, we can find. Okay, so this is about a uh, rehiring process and during the rehiring. In case if any error occurs, how to rectify and how we can see the history and how we can calculate uh, seniority dates as well as the terminated uh, person records information from person management. Okay.